I think that the language of clothes and the language of environment work hand in hand um, as storytelling tools in what is a visual medium, filmmaking. And it's certainly something that Baz considers um, down to the very last detail. One has to remember that actors are seen about 30% of a film is uh, are usually close-ups. In my husband's movies, sometimes more. So w what you're looking at um, are clothes and they become an indicator of who the person is, um, what they're doing, how they're feeling and where they are. And I think you can't... You know, I think the, the, the most successful, obviously, um, visual um, interpretations are ones that are collaborative. So I think it's quite good to be the same person. Um, even though it can be schizophrenic at times, you're arguing with yourself. We're going to 90... Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, 98, 86. <laughs> and then we'll go to 229. It seems that every time you're, you have a film, your fashion ends up in the fashion world. Has that changed anything about what you're doing and what you did with this film, especially this film is everywhere, your fashion? Um, no, I, I'm a great fan of fashion. I have always loved it. And um, I love the fact that in this digital age, there's so much visual conversation between all kinds of media, between fashion and film. And I think that you can't live in a cultural bubble. So you need to be constantly aware of what's actually happening in the world. And I think it's not so much um, that, that the influence is direct. I think it's that um, Baz has an incredible ability to pick stories that have real resonance for a particular time and place. So people are then very comfortable to take on those attributes that they see in the movie. But we certainly don't live in a bubble either. We know what's happening, you know, in the fashion world too. 229 and then we'll go back to 126. Hi, congratulations to you um, your win this evening. Um, during your acceptance speech, you spoke briefly about the seamstress that you've been working with for, I believe you said 25 years. Uh, could you elaborate a little bit on, on the collaboration you have with these people and, and the work that they did with you on The Great Gatsby? Um, there are a number of women I've been working with for about, yeah, nearly 25 years. And um, they, um, one is a tailor, Gloria Bava. Um, one is a principal cutter called um, Cheryl Pike. Um, and I also have a milliner that I've worked with since I got out of school. So um, her name's Rosie Boylan. And um, I always think it's funny because I often walk into the room and just think, oh, God, isn't my crew getting old? And then I realise <laughs> I'm old too. But you, you know, um, and like, haven't we been together for a long time? And um, when we heard about the nominations, it was fabulous because there were people who'd been working with me since Moulin, like before Moulin Rouge, and um, they'd been basically this was their third nomination. In fact, we forgot that it was the third nomination. We were getting very confused over the number of nominations. But anyway, they've been with me on all the movies Australia, Moulin Rouge, um, they worked with me on La Boheme, on Broadway. So I have a team that is very consistent. We're going back to 126 and we'll end it with 293. Hi, over here. Uh, where yeah. will you keep your Oscar in your home? Um, <laughs> we have um, a room in our house called the Red Room because it's red. <laughs> and that's where we put all of the memorabilia. So um, there was a, a very funny Australian film uh, called The Castle. And I always jokingly say, just like in the castle, that my prizes go straight to the pool room. 
But in this instance, they go to the, um, to the red room. And then 293. Yeah, hi, Catherine. Uh, Richard Arnold with Fairfax News of Australia. Congratulations to you. Thank you. I wondered, firstly, how it feels you're being the Australian who, along with Ori Kelly, has won the most Academy Awards ever, and you're still up for a possible additional Oscar this night. And also, the appearance, the, the whole visual effect of Gatsby was so dazzling. Do you have any thoughts when you were trying to create that kind of environment about comparing that and your experience with, show, uh, with Hollywood's biggest uh, showbiz and party night here at the Academy Awards? Oh, that's very, uh, n not specifically, but I'm sure the experiences I've had at this incredible, um, you know, celebration of film absolutely colours your experience. And I've been lucky enough to be here. This is my fourth time. Although I'm not a very reliable source of information as my dad and my set decorator, who's co-nominated with me, found out today when they were asking me how to do things, I had absolutely no idea. I had a beat, fast beating heart and sweaty palms. So, yes, I'm sure it informs. Um, it informs the worlds that we create, all experiences that you have in your life, but not really specifically. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.